Hi, I'm Brett Siegel. And I'm Todd Siegel. Together, we are Siegel Brothers Productions. But today, we're not here for us. We're here for a very special lady. She's our mom, Ellen Buckstell. And she's a gifted musician and songwriter. We'd like you to join us to help her release her second solo album, Legacy of Love. But first, a little bit of history. She began playing music as a child. It wasn't long before she discovered her voice and joined forces with her younger brother, Gary, performing together as a sibling duo. But when our father, Doug Siegel, died in 1988, her life changed and so did ours. 36-year-old Doug Siegel, a hemophiliac who contracted AIDS, died of the disease on Saturday. My name is Doug Siegel. I've been married for almost six years. I have three small preschool children, and I have AIDS. He was 36 years old, had three kids, and a wife. In the two years leading up to his death, he and our mom became two of the first pioneers in the movement to educate the country about AIDS. If I must live without you and our life together unsure, we'll find another place in time where we will meet once more. Legacy of Love, a poem she wrote for our dad, would be the inspiration for her first original song and the beginning of an amazing songwriting career. And when our dad died, our mom stepped up to continue the work they had started together. What we were trying to do is create a legacy for our children. Legacy says everything because, uh, you know, those of us who have children, we want to leave something to the world and leave something to them, and that's what a legacy is. And in 1996, as her songwriting awards and accolades began piling up, she was nominated to run with the Olympic torch. Okay, another pass here to Ellen Buxtel Siegel, and she's an AIDS awareness activist. In the years to come, we turn helping to make the world a better place into a family pursuit. She uses her skills as a singer-songwriter to raise awareness about many of the social issues plaguing our society. Together, we made fundraising videos for charitable organizations to help shelter battered women and children, feed, clothe, and house the homeless, and provide care for autistic children, and help people at the end of life who suffer from the debilitating effects of Alzheimer's disease. Her love of music extends beyond helping the sick and unfortunate. For the last 20 years, about six times a year, she converts her home into a concert venue where she features singer-songwriters from around the world. Welcome to the Shack in the Back. She and her husband, Brian Wolfson, have made Buckstell House concerts at the Shack in the Back, one of the most coveted venues in the country. And they have a community getting together, sharing food, and sharing an experience that really is rare, that you don't see anywhere else. Which brings us to why we're here. Legacy of Love will be her second solo album to date. It's a compilation of some of her favorite, yet-to-be-recorded songs from her past as well as some of her more important political songs with a new flavor. And of course, some new ones that truly showcase her evolution as a songwriter. We've teamed up with Pledge Music to offer you the opportunity to be a part of our family history. And of course, you won't leave empty-handed. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope you'll choose to be a part of this very special project. songs about uh, things that um, piss me off too. <laughs> I'll get to those, don't worry.